that I wanted to share with you guys because um, it's changed just a little bit from my last one um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off any like little hairs and I just use a razor because I like thick eyebrows so it's not like I'm taking a lot of my hair off and then I'm just going to comb them or brush them. This little thing is from, um, I got it from Sephora, it's Anastasia Cosmetics, Anastasia, I always say it wrong. Um, and then she has this dip brow um, pomade. This is her dip brow pomade and her brush. So that's what we're using today. And I also have her um, Value One Bold and Beautiful Kit. And this one actually had a pomade inside, but I used it all. And then it has like a powder, which we are gonna be using today. Um, so the first trick that I have to tell you is, you we're gonna use the brush and we're just gonna put a little bit of the dip brow in, um, on it. And we are gonna start from the lower inner corner right here. And the idea is to start low as possible and then we're going to move up to the highest point and then blend it down. So this way you won't have any funky looking eyebrows because before I didn't use this trick. Before I would just try to, you know, just do the shape myself. But if you use your the points of your own eyebrows, it's so much easier. And to me, it looks more natural. Even though we're going for a more manicured look, it still looks more natural. Um, so like I said, we're going to start from this inner corner at the bottom. And we're going to work our way all the way to the highest point, And then we're going to blend it into our natural brow um, so let's start so I'm gonna go a little bit lower and the point of starting like this is that I like a really big arch so I just went from a low point all the way to the high point and then I just blend it down into the natural eyebrow so that's the first thing and now we're gonna do the top and the top we're going to start from the corner and then we're going to go a little bit above the highest point to make it even a more dramatic brow and blend it into the natural line and then we're just going to fill this in and you don't even have to fill it in really um perfect because we're going to blend this so see, to me that is perfect. It's a dark, but it is the shape I want. So now I'm gonna use a different spoolie little thingy. I like this one because it's softer and I feel like it blends more than the Anastasia one. This one is more stiff, but um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend. And the point of this is we can make this brow extend out a little bit more, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the um, pomade where we stop but drag it forward so that way you have that gradient effect instead of you adding pomade all the way over here if you drag it that's going to create the more blended um, effect um, so I'm just going to bring some out a little bit and then we can blend it you can blend forward or backwards as long as it's blended and then I'm just going to blend a little bit on the pomade that we have over here so it doesn't look as dark. So to me that looks pretty natural and compared to this brow, like oh my gosh, <laughs> and we're not even done yet. So next I'm going to use this brush that I got just from BH Cosmetics and this is NYX concealer 
and I got it from um, Ulta. Some people like using a lighter color underneath, but I use the same color on top and bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat the brush on the front and the back, just so we won't have to double dip. Um, and now we're just going to clean it up. So you just want to gently clean up. And this is also going to enhance. And I like, um, and also put the concealer a little bit further out than where your brow stops because that will also help you with that gradient effect. So now I'm going to do the top. Now we're going to use our fingers and blend it out, out and down, especially right here. And just make sure you blend it into your makeup. And it's also good to do your brows before you put any powder on your face because it'll be easier to blend the concealer. So there is my brow and I love it. I feel like it is so perfect. It, you know, it blends with my eyes. It's, it's like a natural brow.